Okay, ladies and gentlemen, problem number 33. I have a position function, s of t, which measures how high a particular object is above the ground in feet at the end of t seconds. s of t equals the opposite of 16 squared plus 80t, 80t plus 100. t is time in seconds, and s of t is the height above the ground in feet. Part A wants to know the maximum height reached by this object, golf ball, rocket, whatever it is. Part B wants to know at what time it reaches this height. At what time does it reach this height? Well, keep this in mind. This position function represents a parabola because it's degree 2 whose leading coefficient is negative. So it opens down. Where is the maximum going to occur? Well, of course, it will occur at the vertex. So what we're really being asked to locate here is the vertex. A is a negative 16, B is a positive 80, and C is 100. Okay? A is negative 16, B is 80, and C is a positive 100. Vertex formula tells me the first coordinate of the vertex, which in this case is t, is equal to the opposite of b over 2a. That would become the opposite of b, which is 80, divided by 2 times negative 16. Okay, time to get out your calculator, but I think if you punch this in, which would actually be 80 divided by 32, you would come out with 2.5. Now, we have an answer to part B. The input value of my vertex, which is the time, at what time does the object reach the maximum height? Our answer, we already know, is 2.5 seconds. Now, if the, if the person asking this question only wanted to know how long it took, we're done. But part A said, what was the maximum height? So in order to find the maximum height, what we need to do, okay, is we need to take 2.5 and plug it into the function. So we need to find S of 2.5. So we have a negative 16 times 2.5 squared plus 80 times 2.5 plus 100. Now, when I do that computation, um, when we take 2.5 and square it and multiply it by negative 16 on a calculator, we get a negative 100. Plus 80 times 2.5 is 200. And, of course, we have the 100 at the end. This ends up arithmetically becoming 200. And, of course, remember, that's the output, the second coordinate of the vertex, and that represents my maximum height. My maximum height is 200 feet. And we're done.